My name's Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm heading and this is where I am now. I've run 16,047 kilometres so far and I've got 409 left to go. So far on the mission. I've survived alone in the desert, a robbery at gunpoint, near death in the jungle, a brutal crash, horror infested waters, malnutrition, sickness and injuries and raised 550 grand for charity. In this episode, I push the mileage higher than ever before, the van breaks down, I get challenged to a marathon and we enter Tunisia. Well, the gendarmerie is uh, here trying to kick us off the road. Oh. Dan thinks we probably should pack up Ace of Fleet before we get an escort. I think we've got rid of him. He thinks he got rid of him. So, uh, <laughs> never mind. Enjoy your uh, scroll session. Nice. So, I just took a, uh, a little wander away from the van to find a place to sh. And, mate, this place is so beautiful. In the last 24 hours or so, it's gone from pretty dry. Still fairly deserty terrain, so just an explosion of plants, grass, flowers. There's bees buzzing everywhere. I'd forgotten how I sound like such a w about how amazing nature is for your mental health. It's really boosted my morale. Fair play, Algeria. Leaving Stan to frolic through the meadows like a hippie Harry Potter, I put my legs into gear, powered off. Every day, the climate was getting greener as I inched closer and closer to home. Meanwhile, Gus was doing Gus stuff. What I got? What have you got? Fresh bread. To go with the bread, we got a chickpea soup. Wow. Together with this really tomato oily soup. Have you been missing food out of bags? I absolutely have been missing the food out of bags, especially the porridge. We, we should see if we can find some porridge in bags. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will make you some porridge myself for you and I will put <laughs> it in the bag. bag. Oh, you're the best. Oh, that's nice. How much of your family are coming up to the finish? So my mum's coming, sister and a cousin from America. Nice. What about your family? My mum, my dad, both my brothers, Emily. A couple of my oldest mates from school, we met since since I was about four. Mm. They're coming. My old flatmate and his girlfriend are coming. Mm. How many people do you reckon it's going to be? They're like over a hundred. What at the end party thing? Yeah, easily I think. Yeah, I think so. Wouldn't surprise me if it's like four hundred. Mm. Okay. Maybe even more. Having eaten an entire Bruce Bog Trotter sized chocolate cake with a spoon, I hauled the extra baggage onto the road with me and powered off through the beautiful scenery. But trouble was brewing with the boys, and the little miscommunication with the gendarme was about to blow it up. I've done. Chris, hey, 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 hey. What's the problem? I tell you what's the problem. Yes, please, tell us. Hey! Hey! Hey, sir! Yo, do you mean bad, da? No. No, sir, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A completely normal checkpoint was turning into a nightmare and despite these guys ending up very friendly, none of the boys had any idea what the problem was. Eventually, they were allowed to leave with a brand new gendarmerie escort and it seemed we were in the clear. That couldn't have been more wrong. What's going on, Jamie? Police have stopped us. Don't want us to continue. They say it's too dangerous. They don't understand what we're doing or that Russ has to run every single meter or kilometer of this route. They've stopped us in the middle of some road and they're telling us to all get in the car to pack up and I don't even know where we're going now. Mate, this is... I'm fuming. I shouted at a man with an AK-47 today. He was just refusing to listen. So unnecessarily arrogant. And we don't have time for this shit. We're on. We're right up against the clock. F 
long way they're taking us. Maybe Tunisian border? Tunisian border. So we're like trying to get us out of the country before uh, that. What do you reckon we should do? It would take us so long we could just pull over and uh, the map the explanation where we go. Yeah. Basically, these guys didn't believe we had presidential permission to run and were now escorting us across the country to an unknown location. It was probably just them trying to do their jobs, but it was a huge problem for us. Any sort of drop in mileage would have huge implications with finish just five days away. And then we found out they were escorting us out of the country. Sup? Fair enough, I just told him who you are, what you're doing. Big celeb. Big celeb. Oh, Entire length of Africa, you know? <laughs> So he told his friend and now they're making some more calls. These guys seem really nice. Five days and we'll all be over, boys, eh? I hope so. Yeah, better be. The plan is to try and get back to where we stopped running. I've only ran 35k today so far, so I've been missing. Lost out on 40k, so I've got to try and make up for it tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. These guys were great, but fairly powerless to help. After we had refused to continue, we spent three hours roadside as a gendarme tried their hardest to authorise us to continue. Every hour that passed was an hour less sleep I'd get for the next few days. Right, we're on the move again. Yeah, I've been told more. How long do you reckon we've been waiting? Uh, two and a half hours, I think. How much distance have we covered today? I mean, we've covered a good, decent distance, but more than expecting, just most of it wasn't on foot. Oh, does that matter? Uh, apparently so. Oh, shit. that guy says so. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I don't really know what happens when we get to the point where we were stopped last time, but it's going to happen. So that's a start. Probably can get there this way. I'm worried they're taking us to a base or something. I'm great, sorry. Going the right way again. The next few hours were like a fever dream, so I'll summarise. We went into a police station, sat in a room with 25 policemen, and our passports were forensically tested. Russell. What's in your job? Eventually, the big boss came out and told us we were welcome to do as we wished. In the end, most of these guys were just trying to do their jobs. It was a long, stressful one and had massive implications for the last days of the mission. Finally free to run once more, I hit tarmac on violence. The numbers were in, I'd now have to run 83 kilometers every day for the next four days. This was the biggest mileage in that space of time in my entire life, but little did I know, at 15 kilometers, there was an ambush waiting for me. Oh, I wasn't severe. How long have you got left to go? About 50 days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, lads. Right, right, so uh, how's the journey been? Oh, nothing to complain about. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for you. Do, do a cool little marathon tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll see how we get on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The God Amongst Men, Zach Alsop, had challenged me to a marathon. And who was I to say no? For some reason, he decided to get some training in there and then and drug 6k of me to the stop. Let's just say it was a strategic error. Oh, 60k. 60k, is it? You look like you did 60k, mate. <laughs> My knee. No, you can't complain. Hip flexors. Yeah, but he, he always makes out he's not injured, doesn't he? So this is the reality of the situation. Oh, right, go on, let me have a light down. <laughs> I'm genuinely dying. My shoes are heavy. I did think at one point we should circle back. Are you three. running the night too? <laughs> My strategy was like, don't do anything, leave it all on the line tomorrow. You actually need to stretch though. Like, yeah, I probably should. Okay. There's a massage gun in there if you want it. Oh yeah, get me that. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ooh. It's like 15% of an orgasm, that, isn't it? Yeah, that is pretty close. Thanks, mate. Okay, well, I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah. It's nice having Zach about, isn't it? Oh, I like Zach. Shit, <laughs> running. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Zach. You're good at a lot of things, mate. Running ain't one of them. <laughs> well, he's gonna challenge you to the marathon tomorrow. Yeah. He's pretty convinced he can win. He's been talking pure sh yeah. all day. Well, we'll see, won't we? We'll add him to my little chalkboard of people I've humbled. On, uh... You're genuinely moving really fast today. Yeah, it's just because I've got to do 80 free clothes. Yeah, I know, but still. Get a wiggle on us. <laughs> 
Yeah, my jaw is aching from clenching it so hard. From the pain? Just f***ing gritting teeth. Right, <laughs> taking that metaphor pre-literally, don't you? It's four days, and I've got to run a double marathon on this all of them. It's the most project Africa way to win the mission though, isn't it? Yeah. Really. It's literally the most mileage I've ever done in a four day period of my life. And yeah. I'm doing it off the back of a 348 day warm up. <laughs> I'll leave you to your heel. With Zach heading back to his hotel to recover and genuinely called a Team GB physio, pushed on into the night to complete a gruelling, violent 85 kilometres. This felt like a fitting end to the mission. There'd be no easy days, no end on run highs, pure cold pain. Bring it on. Man's just dropped some of the maddest pace we've seen on the mission. 85k. How different does that feel to finishing the 75? And uh, both are quite grim. <laughs> One's a little bit more grim than the other. It has to reach a, like a threshold of pain where it can't get any worse. Right? Yeah, you'd be surprised. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have some fuel. Love. Them. Right. I'll see you in the morning. See you later. The challenger has arrived. Ah, it's a wonderful day to beat Ross at a marathon, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Sir. Morning, morning. This is the welcome I get, is it? At least he's not facing you. <laughs> Could be worse. So the most important part of today, really, is obviously the marathon. Yeah. I've never done one. Yeah. What would you reckon my chances are? I'll give you at least 1%. <laughs> I've got a couple tricks up my sleeve. I'll show you once you get out of your cave. Is that a stretch? That's that a stretch. Something does feel like a stretch. Let me go to the other one. Ooh. Hey, my hips are feeling good in there. Wow. Yeah. Battery. Now. AI powered, robotic powered, all of it. No, you're joking. Nice. No, I'm like, I basically have to walk and they'll turn it into the pace of a jog, which is about seven to eight miles an hour. So my theory is if I exert the energy of a walk, I should be fine, right? And the competitors made their way to the start line, please. They're the full marathon to complete today. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh right, so let's get up to speed here. Here we go. We're rolling now. Now I'm on pace here. You're in <laughs> I've actually got it on easy mode. Hey, don't, don't hurt yourself trying to keep this pace in there. You don't need to. I'm waiting for the fall. You're a fall, mate. I believe there's one of the I should have got these. Yeah, I would have finished months ago. I can't plan everything for you. Do you know what I mean? Sake, Stan. Good luck. I chased this robotic nerf dart of a man with everything I had. He may have been faster than me now, but Mr. Allsop had made one big mistake, igniting my ego. I was on the overtake and his wheels were maxed out. Bloke didn't stand a chance. Ring, ring, Zach, you big puss. What's going on? No, I can't go any <laughs> When you reckon you're going to go for the switch tactic, because you're in trouble here, boy. <laughs> I'm rolling you into a full sense of security. I don't take these, though. I just did my job. <laughs> you let me know when I need to start trying, yeah? <laughs> okay. Over! Zach was chatting mad shit for results, man, and his day was not going well. I was so comfortable that I decided to be the hare, not the tortoise, and take a leisurely break. Any sign of Zachary? Nope. Absolutely none. Shame, that. I ain't seen him since about 6k. I saw him at 7k, his shoes have run out of battery. Really? Yeah. 20 minutes later, I saw a text on the video group chat. Can someone bring me another knee support for my right? <laughs> Poor lad. Oh look, here comes a tortoise. <laughs> oh, nice little tea break, eh? We keep going here. Eh? We keep going here. Eh? Where are your shoes? Oh, yeah. oh, have another half an hour, yeah? <laughs> this was never the plan, Stan. I wasn't trying to beat him at running, but my technology has failed me. Maybe there's a moral message in this. Genuine advice, no need to take the piss here. But, at what stage does it just become worth speed walking? Um, probably now, mate. I was just looking at the way you're moving. Because <laughs> my knees are fucked. I could die straight to you, that I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Zach was in the lead, but I soon finished up my break and was hot on his heels, sniffing out his city boy scent like a lion hunting a gazelle. Time was ticking for Zach, and with his robot augmentations on charge in the van, it was not looking good. The gap closed slowly but surely, but to his credit, he was powering on. As the end of a marathon drew close, the decided moment was nigh. Mate, that is so close. Have you looked behind you recently? Oh, f off. This ain't fair. Wherever this is in Perth, a fucking scarper. Oh, He's a coming. I'm making him suffer. This is probably the first time. How you doing? Oh, f <laughs> yeah, that did your back, mate, eh? Yeah. It's alright, there's only about 14 and a half K to go for you. That's doable. It's not like that. It's doable, I reckon. Two seconds later. I feel like if I just sit down, I ain't gonna fuck up. Oh no. No joke that, isn't it, Marathon? It's kind of one of them things where, like, don't know unless you try. Yeah, it's also one of them things, I think, because those people do them, other people, oh, they can't be that bad. It's kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime thing for 99% of the people, isn't it? Ah, oh, I'm glad to call this my only one, though, you know? Oh, f*** me. Confidence of you only getting a soft t-shirt for the size. This is what I thought I was going to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Right, should we, should we go? Yeah. See you tomorrow, lads. I'd swiftly humbled yet another challenger, but my victory didn't last long. While this lanky, crumbled heap was carried off in an ambulance, I still had another marathon left to run. It was already late in the day, and as the sun set, I was still trucking on through the hills to my third stop. Where are we? We're about 18 kilometers away from the border. Now I'm tired. Not surprised. I think it puts it more into perspective the distance when you do a full marathon with Zach first and then do another one. You know it's like mean? a separate day. Yeah, doesn't it? F***ing tune is here. Let's do it. It had been a really big day. Not only had I destroyed a cyborg in a marathon, I was near the end of my second to last country. Algeria had been an unbelievable place, full of the kindest, most hospitable people I'd ever met, incredible landscapes and highs and lows like no other. But as always, this party keeps on rolling and Tunisia and a strawberry daiquiri awaits. This was it. We were finally here. You ready for the last country, Stan? Not really, if I'm honest. <laughs> Not sure if I am either. This is very real now. Yeah. Tunisia, right? Tunisia. Crazy. Mm -hmm. He's just filming. It's rolling into our final border with a full on escort. Yeah. yeah. Huge money. Yeah. Last one. Last one. How are you feeling? It's mad, isn't it? Does it feel real yet? Not really. It's just thinking about all the f border questions we've gone through. It's weird that this is the last one. It feels so normal now. You know? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We drove from the hotel to the start point for a beautiful rolling hill. Tunisia was beautiful, but as if we hadn't already crammed enough content into this episode, Nelly decided to take centre stage. Hey mate. Hi mate. What happened to Nelly? Nelly stopped. We've had similar issues before and it's always had to do with the fuel injection pump. I really hope it's nothing big. Two days left. We just have to make it to the end. Man. Nelly, come on. Come on, Nelly. There was no opportunity to wait for her, so as the boys figured out what to do, I took the mountain path into some of the most insane elevation of the mission. It was incredibly beautiful, but honestly, I could have done without hills for 85k three days from the end. As I struggled, Nelly was dragged kicking and screaming to the hospital. So, our, our new mechanic is on a WhatsApp call with our old mechanic. Hakim. Hakim is saying that we should give the old injector that Hakim gave with us the last time. I unfortunately already threw the old injector. Threw it like two days back or something. Start cleaning up the van before we arrive, finish. Was it a good decision? Maybe not. 
Rashford and Sarah Fahaspen. What's your relationship to Wales and how did you end up in Tunisia? What happened to you? So for us, who the f are you, dude? Uh, the are you? So Ross is my best friend and we started running together in 2018. Kind of just stayed like really close after that. Wanted to come out to like, yeah, just be here, I guess, and run a little bit with him for like whole time's sake and yeah, just be there to like celebrate on the finish line, I guess. And yeah, I suppose that's my relationship to him, unfortunately. Um, can't, can't really get rid of him. So I drove to the wrong Algerian border. Uh, that'll be the last time I use Apple Maps. That was six hours at 1 a.m. And then Emily kindly let me know that I was going in the wrong direction. And now I'm here, all is well. The boys were stuck with no way to fix the van. As I began to descend from the mountains, pushing through pain, Nelly decided to give it a go too. Painfully slow, falling apart, both of us made our way to the next stop. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, yeah, hello, mate. I are you there? You good? Yeah, I'm bad, I'm bad. How far are you going to run, mate? I'm aiming realistically for 21 min. I would like a little halfy tonight. The conditions are good. Company's all right. I reckon let's just see. See you, mate. Can I sub you in? <laughs> Got some robot shoes if you want. Yeah. Thought you were running for a second there. Eh? Oh, he is. Oh, it feels better. Yeah. Zach, as if you could. Ah. Ah. Jordan and I hit the tarmac for a wonderful downhill halfy, making our way steadily to the city. It was still hard to believe that I was less than 48 hours away from the end of the mission that had been my life for four years. But the tarmac was still calling and I would answer every last time. How you been getting on, lad? Yeah, not bad to be fair. Fared a bit better than I thought I would. No? Yeah. We were actually running so fast we had to slow down at one point, believe it or not. <laughs> not even lying. Rolling back the years. Yeah. Good. Feel real yet? No, not at yeah. all. Yeah. Need it? No. Ross, mate, this is your final moment on camera in a normal Project After Speed YouTube video. Do you have anything you wish to say? Um, just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's followed the journey on YouTube. It's been a bit of a mad one. Plenty of ups and downs. You got anything more from less middle of the road? <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've run this. Yeah, I'm just pure just going off. Honestly, I was amazed with that. I was expecting like a, yeah, off now, <laughs> boys and girls, stop with you. Maybe I'm being tired. cynical. A little bit tired. But we'll leave yeah, and we'll see you in the next video. In the next episode, the end comes.